Okay, so let's look at the vertebrae themselves. Okay, so our cervical vertebrae, we have seven of these. We have 12 thoracic vertebrae and five lumbar vertebrae. Uh, so the common phrase for this is breakfast at 7, lunch at 12, dinner at 5. Okay, so remember 7, 12, and 5. Now, the cervical vertebrae, uh, the first two cervical vertebrae are, are kind of special. Uh, you have the uh, atlas, which is C1, and the axis. So our atlas looks like this. So it's very flattened. It's actually what articulates with the skull itself. Okay. Uh, so it has some of the main characteristics that we see on all the other vertebrae. Uh, so you can see the large hole here. So this is our vertebral foramen. Uh, it's also got the characteristics that we find with cervical vertebrae. So you see these transverse foramen off to the sides. Okay, so that's our flat atlas. Our axis, on the other hand, uh, not so flat. We can see it actually has this large protuberance coming off the top there uh, called the dens. Uh, so this dens uh, articulates something like that. Okay. Uh, we can see it still has the vertebral foramen, the transverse foramen, so we know it's cervical. Uh, and now we're actually starting to see this other form, the spinous process that sticks off the front. So all our other cervical vertebrae uh, look something like this. Uh, so you have the body, vertebral foramen, transverse foramen. Uh, you can see the spinous process. The cervical vertebrae also have a bifid process, so it's kind of split in two there. Okay. We can now look at the uh, thoracic vertebrae. So again, we have a body. It's larger, of course, than our cervical. You've got this very downward protruding spinous process. You can see it's no longer bifid. It's just singular there. And then compare that to our large lumbar vertebrae here. So let's look and kind of compare. Uh, you can see the body there is exponentially larger in our lumbar. It's huge, comparatively speaking. Uh, you've got a large uh, spinous process. It's not nearly as downward protruding uh, as in our thoracic vertebrae.